Let's now shift our attention over to the issue of Brexit as there's a little over three weeks to go before the deadline for Britain to exit the European Union. But Britain's Prime Minister Boris Johnson is making a last-ditch attempt to end the Brexit impasse. But the future of Brexit still looks uncertain because President of the European Parliament has now said that no progress has been made towards a deal. President David Sassoli has urged Johnson to come back with a serious proposal for a deal. The two leaders held a meeting in London. Rather than a deal, Johnson's focus remains on the exit. During his meeting with Sassoli, Johnson reiterated that he will not seek an extension to the Brexit deadline. Meanwhile, a Downing Street source said that German leader Angela Merkel and Johnson had a frank exchange on Tuesday morning. According to the Downing Street official, Merkel made it clear that a deal was quote-unquote overwhelmingly unlikely. Now, concerns over a no-deal Brexit may be leading to a rebellion in Johnson's cabinet. Some reports suggest that at least five cabinet ministers are on a resignation watch list. One reported an unnamed cabinet member as a court saying that a large number of conservative lawmakers will quit if there's no deal Brexit. Former Prime Minister Tony Blair has expressed concern over a no deal in a television interview. A no deal Brexit is a threat to the United Kingdom. There's no doubt about that. It's a threat to Northern Ireland remaining in the United Kingdom. It's a threat to Scotland remaining in the United Kingdom. Do I hope either of these things happen? No, of course, and I will argue strongly against it. If you want to resolve Brexit through the medium of the people, ask the people direct, ask them a specific question on Brexit. Do you want the government position or do you want to stay? Not tangle it up with the general election, which, let's be clear, if the Conservatives were to win it, they'll be claiming a mandate for a no-deal Brexit, when that won't be clear from the general election, because you've got lots of different issues in a general election. Amid the Brexit chaos, the British legislature has been suspended again. It has been suspended till Monday to launch its new legislative agenda ahead of the Queen's speech. Now, this comes two weeks after the country's top court declared the previous suspension as unlawful. But the top court's decision does not prevent Johnson from proroguing the legislature again. And here's a first as Swedish King Carl XVI Gustav announced that five of his seven grandchildren had been removed from the royal house. The next report tells you what the development means for the Swedish monarchy and the larger message behind the king's move. The Swedish king's grandchildren will no longer be members of the Swedish royal house and they won't perform top level royal official duties. All I can tell you is that His Majesty the King has made a decision which will affect duties and rules within the royal family. But Alexander, Prince Gabriel, Princess Leonor, Prince Nicholas and Princess Adrienne will retain their titles of Duke and Duchess. However, their titles will become personal. Any future spouse or offspring would not have a right to these. In brief, it means that the children of Prince Carl Philip and Princess Sophia and of Princess Madeleine and Mr. O'Neill will no longer be members of the royal house and they will no longer enjoy the style of royal highness. Of course, they are members of the royal family and they will retain their titles of prince and princess and duke and duchess. While the Swedish king's announcement surprised many, let's tell you what this means for the royal family and why this decision was taken. While the royals will retain their titles, they won't be able to benefit from the taxpayers' funded money that goes to members of the royal household. This, in a way, also addresses the problem of increasing royal family members having to cope with limited titles. This move of King Carl Gustav XVI comes as a blessing in disguise for the royals who will be able to live a personal life away from the paparazzi. Bureau Report, Leon, World is One.